you guys welcome to another spinning channel all right today we're looking at a couple of questions f c set to triangles you know for everybody s c a all right so the first one says in a class of 25 students there are in a class 25 students are boys while there are 30 girls what is the probability of e what is the probability of choosing a boy so let's get right into it. But first, I want you guys to attempt the question by commenting. What did you guys get for that? All right, so the thing about probability is the need denominator now our denominator can be obtained from finding the total so the total is represented by the denominator so we need to know the total number of students in the class so let us figure out how many students are in the class so it says 25 are boys so we know that first we are 25 plus the number of girls which is 30 so our denominator would be 55 and this is the total number of students so now we want to choose a boy right so this is our denominator which is 55 we can choose any of the 25 boys so our denominator our numerator would be 25 out of 55. All right, so what we have to do now is basically we can break it down. What number, type it in the comment section. What number can both go in 25 and 55 without a remainder? By the team, guys, let me check. All right, so that would be 5. So we divide both of them by 5. 25 divided by 5, that's 5. And this gives us 11. So the probability of choosing a boy at random would be 5 out of 11. All right. Let's go down to the probability a child chosen at random is a girl. So I want to know the same thing. Probability of for the girl this time. All right. So again, Total in the class would be 55 since you had established that total is 55. However, there are 30 girls. So since there are 30 girls, we're going to use 30. And then we break down this fraction to its lowest, lowest term. Now, what number can go into both 30 and 55 without the remainder? The same number. And then divide it by that particular number. And that would be 5. 30 divided by 5, that's 6, and we have done this part of here, is 11. So the probability of choosing a girl at a random would be 6 out of 11. So we have more possibility with the girl than the boy. Alright, it's a what percent of the class are boys? So you want to know the person. Now, first of all, guys, what does percent mean? Somebody type that in for me now. Let's go. All right, thanks, guys. So, percent mean out of 100. So, we have established that there are 25. Out of a possible 55. So, all we have to do to get the percent, we multiply by 100 percent. All right. So we are already do this already. The 
is in the file and this is plus 11 so you multiply 5 times that gives us 500 and divide by 11 alright so let us divide that now so you guys know your work out that you have a calculator very simple So 5 into 11 to 5 you can't, so you say 11 to 50, that was 4 times, 4 times 11, 44. Now we subtract, so that gives us 6. Carry on 0, so we have 60, 11 to 60 goes 5 times. So now we multiply again, so 5 times that is equals 55. Subtract again, but this time, because we reach the end, we draw a decimal point. The so decimal point is right here. Alright, so that gives us 5. Turn down to 0. 11 to that goes 4 times. We're going to keep doing this over and over. So this gives us 11 times 4, gives us 44. Subtract, we get 6, carry down to 0, this time 5. Alright, so the final answer in question would be 45. I'm just going to leave that one decimal, please. 40, 45. So if you want to find the percent per girl, you don't have to learn zero or two. What we can do is to say a hundred percent that represents full class. And since boys are forty-five point five percent, we can simply subtract that. So that's represent curves. All right, guys. Um, remember, a number is at the top. It's just in case you guys need to find something. Here's my number. For Pep, C six, C triangles, classes. You guys are welcome all the time. All right. So, guys, thank you for watching. This is Donald Spinnings. Really appreciate you guys watching. Ensure that you like the video. If you're not subscribed, ensure you're subscribed so when I go live, you can see my live free tutorials. This is an announcement, it's about to go out. See, you can, I remember, guys, not just math, it's out. Chemistry, physics, biology, social studies, UOB, accounts, everything. Alright, I'm out, I'm out.